How's it going guys? Sir Teapot here. Today we are back once again with more Story of Teapot. And today is Friday the 28th of August. And on the Pokemon calendar today, one second, let me just flip it over. I'm pretty sure we've had this one before. Oh, what's his name now? Absol. Yes, Absol. Pretty sure we've had Absol before. If you guys have been watching the vlog for a while, let me know down below if you can remember if we've had Absol before. But good old Absol. It looks pretty decent, pretty cool. I like the look of Absol. Really, really interesting looking Pokemon. Uh, is that going to go back down there? Not without an issue. There we go. We'll leave it like that for a little bit. Uh, and today, the weather is looking miserable as sin. What a surprise. Get it. Close that again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but Evie's currently downstairs with Kim. I want to get downstairs and say good morning to them too. And then today, I'm actually getting this bloody mop cut finally. I'm going to finally get it sorted out. So you're going to see a completely new haircut today. I'm not, that's not till 2 o'clock though. So I've got quite a while until I need to actually be getting my hair cut. Uh, so I'm going to chill out for a little bit this morning, get some brachydarmy, and then head out a little bit later to get my hair cut. So me and Evie are now downstairs. Well, as, as I said, Kim and Evie were already downstairs, but I'm downstairs now and I'm joined by an Evie. And uh, we are watching some wrestling, because she loves watching wrestling with me every time. She's just enthralled by it. <clears throat> so then... And then after that, I'm going to probably get some brekkie at some point shortly because I am feeling quite hungry this morning, as bloody per usual. And then, like I said, I'm going to uh, set off a bit later on to get my hair cut and everything like that. I've got a good few hours until I need to actually get there. So before that, I might end up playing some video games or something like that just to chill out before I do end up going out. So, guys, food has just arrived and I've already taken a bite and then, wait, I went, wait. I have a vlog that I need to film that food has arrived, so I better get filming. So today, I'm having sausage, spam, and hash browns, and it looks, it tastes absolutely amazing. And I've also got a sausage, cheese, and bean toaster here, and Kim's got a sausage and, no, bacon and cheese, yeah, toaster, there we go. So mine's bacon, sausage, and bean, no, bacon, egg, no, bacon, cheese, and... Bean. Bean. God almighty, I did every other breakfast item. Because I was looking at Kim's and it would just distract him because Kim's got a full English with everything on. We even got the kitchen sink thrown in there for good measure as well. We needed a replacement. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to get this down, me. And then um, it's just gone one o'clock. Well, one o'clock. <laughs> one o'clock? Ah, I'm not with it. It just got 11 o'clock. And, um, and like I said, I'm not getting my cut till two. So I've got a bit of time until I need to get there. But... Um, I need to do a little bit of shopping for Vaughan because it's Kim's birthday coming up, so I need to get her a present as well. So I need to go go get that as well today. Um, I think she's picked out what she wanted. It's nothing special or anything like that. She literally just wants a game. Which, I don't do special. No, which to be honest, I'll probably end up coming home and just going, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, it'd be fine. It's a birthday. Everyone gets old. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm going to get into my, dive into my sandwich and then head out shortly. Well, probably in about an hour or so. Right, so we have not long finished eating our food and it was absolutely gorgeous as per usual. And um, then we heard a slight little yelping and yelling from upstairs. We're like, is that an Evie we hear? Because she was just upstairs watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And uh, so I went upstairs and got her. And first thing she wanted to do when we came downstairs was apparently play with his bottle and sit on the floor. Yeah. So she's just currently... I'm not allowed to move though. Yeah. If I move, she shuffles back and... Goes against my legs again. <laughs> yeah, she'll end up falling, knowing, knowing Evie. When oh, really? She just doesn't like the fact I move, Yeah, she's out to... Uh, actually, she's not too bad. I don't think even realised. Uh, but yeah, so for some reason, she's just enjoying playing with a bottle at the moment. Uh, a bottle bigger than her. Yeah, which is bizarre. So, <clears throat> uh, like I said, finished eating food now. So I'm going to give uh, Gizmo his daily spritzing that we give him, even though we give him a few every day. And then I'm going to get ready to go out because it is nearly 12 o'clock already. Like I said, I'm getting my hair cut at like... Uh, two o'clock ish, and uh, it takes about half an hour on the bus to get there. So, if I start getting ready now, I should be there with a pretty decent amount of time. And then I can do a little bit of shopping before I get my hair cut, and then I do some more after I get my hair cut as well. So, I'm now setting off to go to uh, Wakefield to get my hair cut because it desperately needs bloody doing. So, I've got um, about an hour until it needs to, you to, want to, to go. No, nah, I should be alright. <laughs> there is a pretty 
big black cloud over there, but I should be fine. I got wet yesterday. I'm sure it can't be much worse than yesterday. Pneumonia. Yeah, I'll be fine. And plus yesterday I ended up giving this hoodie to Kim anyway, and it was raining. I was walking around in a bloody t-shirt, so and I was fine anyway. So I'm sure it'll be all right. He's just got a snuffle in us today. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, so I'm gonna set off now and uh, get there because, like I said, I've got about an hour. It should take me about half an hour, so I'll probably just have a bit of a wander around beforehand and then. Uh, Go in and get my haircut, so I'm gonna get off now before I end up missing my bus or something. So I'm now in Wakefield, and once again, as soon as I've gone outside, well, not as soon as I've gone outside, but as soon as I've got off at bus, it's just been raining. So I'm not far from Barber's now, anyway, it should only take me like five minutes, and I've already got my drink and everything like that, what I wanted. So, and I'm getting my haircut well, due in about 10 minutes, so like I said, I'll be there in five. Um, so this will be the last time, see, well it won't be the last time, you'll probably see it again in future at some point But for a while this will be the last time you'll see me with long hair Because it's coming all off now, so like I said I'll be there in a few minutes And then uh, next time you see me, all this will be completely gone So I've had my hair cut as you can probably tell and it looks a hell of a lot shorter um, And it is rather bizarre how short it actually is, it's uh, blowing me away a little bit actually how short it actually is so it's something I'm going to have to get used to again having it this short, but it does feel a lot better, like I feel a lot fresher. I just feel the breeze on my neck as well, it's really, really bizarre. So uh, I'm going to pull up a bit of a walk around for a little bit because I need to find Kim a um, uh, thingy, uh, excuse me, birthday present still. So I'm going to go find that for Kim. And then once I've found once I've found that, I'll probably end up heading home and then just uh, chilling out for the rest of the day. But I think I might be meeting up with a friend a bit later. But it depends on whether this weather actually holds off or not. Cause it's still ever so slightly raining. So uh, I'm still out and about in Wakefield and stuff like that. And quite a few months ago now, when I started, like not long after I started doing my vlogs and stuff like that, I came past this piece of land that was that's right behind me and it was a burnt down building that a lot of you guys actually like reacted to and stuff like that and couldn't believe how much of a disaster it had been and stuff like that and this entire piece of land behind me all this flat is all where the factory was like all of this is what it was like it's all gone they've flattened it completely none of it's left and it's quite crazy actually because this like this building has been here the entire time i've lived like in this area so like it's always been here it's been like a central point of like this town basically so like whenever you came this way like you wouldn't see like past it or anything like that you could just see this like from where i used to live as a kid where i grew up i used to be able to see this front window and stuff like that and like it used to be smell gorgeous and stuff like that like cause it used to be a bakery place and stuff like that and now it's just gone like it's just it's quite bizarre and a bit strange that like, everything just kind of just vanished and like it's just an empty blank space now and like as far as i'm aware they're not doing anything with it it's been left like that which is even bigger shame to be honest because like it's a nice bit of land literally it's, it's beautiful like it's in a decent location next to the cinema like stippley retail park morris mcdonald's and all that kind of stuff there's a park up the road and all that niceness so like it's like a prime location for something pretty decent but as far as i'm aware they just left it abandoned for the time being but who knows, they might do something eventually. But uh, I'm now heading home now after being out everywhere that I want to be because it has now gone four o'clock and the weather's not too great. It's still a bit just grizzly more than anything. It's like miserable, horrible weather. But I've got Kim's presents in my bag, which I'll show you when I get home. And I got myself a little something while I were out as well, which I'll obviously show you when I get home. Um, obviously it's a new game because when do I buy new games? I'm a little bugger for it. Um, but I will show you what I've got when I get home. I have played them before, but I'm quite excited to play these ones because, like, well, they're just kind of updated versions of them. Right, guys, I am now home after, obviously, being out and doing out shopping and getting my hair cut and stuff like that. And it still looks a bit bizarre, like, to look at in the camera and stuff like that. It's still weird to not have my ears being tickled every two minutes and stuff like that. But I can guarantee... In about three months time, it'll be back down to here again. Probably still, like, somehow blonde at the tips or something like that. Or dyed it grey again or some random nonsense. Because that's what I normally do. <laughs> I go a bit crazy and go, random hair colour. <laughs> Even though I can't do bright hair colours, which is a bit of a shame. But I wanted to show you guys what I actually bought for Kim while I was actually out and about um, doing my shopping and stuff like that. Let me just uh, sort this out. There we go. So, first things first that I got her was this Spyro, like, duck kind of thing that comes in its own bath, just to 
nah, little no, but, um, she has like a little Spyro as you're probably able to guess with the next item that I got as well <laughs> um, that she's got a bit of an obsession with Spyro but these are called Tubbs Cosplaying Ducks and this is number one in the collection is like for me you get Ripto Loria and you get money bags as well which is pretty cool so I think that's pretty awesome I, Kim seems to like it as well and the other thing that I got her was this it was it's a Spyro Ice Dragon though, like an Ice Spyro version, so it's rather than his usual green. No, yeah? yellow. Yellow. Why do I think green? Jesus. He's right here. <laughs> yeah, he's right. I literally was looking at him in duck form and went green. God almighty, I'm not with it. But yeah, so he holds like your controller or your phone and stuff like that, so you can like watch him. It's handy for me because I'm always losing. Yeah, she loses her phone at all times and stuff like that, so she can kind of just put a f the phone on here and then it has like a charging cable or something like that, yeah. I believe, as well with it, which is kind of cool. So it, that's what it kind of looks like. like. That's what it'll look like when it's held, holding it and stuff like that. So it looked really, really cool. And as I said, I was getting myself something today. And I got myself, let me just put that down, a game, as I said, once again. And it's a game that I played before. Well, I've played all three of them before, funnily enough. It's the Batman Arkham Collection. But they've recently announced um, the Goth the new, a new Gotham game. It's called Gotham Knights. So I'm going to play them, catch up with it all, basically. Because um, Justice League as well, apparently, in the same universe as well. So I'm going to like keep, get up to date with everything. Get up to date with all Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff. Get Do all Riddler trophies. I want to try and go for all achievements in it because... That'd be quite cool as well to get every single achievement in that, which is another one of the reasons why I actually bought it on the Xbox and not the PlayStation. Uh, so I'm going to probably play that, well, I'm going to get that installed now and everything like that. And uh, so probably just chill out for a little bit now and uh, then I'm off out to go see some friends for a little bit, even though I've already been out bloody most today anyway. Uh, I'm off to go see them for a little bit and then once I've... Don't, once I'm done there, I won't be out too long, probably out for an hour or so, something like that. Once I come home, I'll be probably more than likely playing Batman and just chilling out with him and Eva. So guys, I said in the last clip that I was going out to uh, meet a friend of mine to just chill for a little bit and relax for a bit. And uh, as I said, as well, as I thought it was going to happen, it rained, literally. I, we let, like, literally, as soon as we met up, it just all of a sudden started chucking it down. We both got drenched, which is why I'm currently wearing no t-shirt. Is because my clothes just got r basically rinsed in rain. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, but I went to the shop, literally on my way home, and got... A bunch of little bits and pieces and stuff like that. And I got some toilet roll as well. And um, that was about it, really. Um, been, so now that I'm home, I'm probably going to end up jumping on Batman for a little bit. Um, playing probably Arkham Asylum, probably first, obviously, because that's the first one in the series. And then obviously move on to City then Night as well. So I'm quite excited to jump back into them, because it's been a long time since I've actually played them. But uh, I'm going to finish getting dried off and everything. My hair's mostly dry now anyway. It looks pretty dry anyway on camera, and it feels kind of dry. Um, but I feel pretty dry everywhere else as well, but I'm just going to finish off and make sure I'm not like, still wet from rain anywhere else. And then, like I said, jump on some games and then get some food down me as well, because I'm feeling a tad bit peckish. So, I did say when I came home that I was going to uh, probably jump on some video games or something like that, but uh, as you may have noticed when I did come home, Evie wasn't here, uh, and that's because she was upstairs asleep, but now she's actually awake, and um, she's having some cheesy pasta, I believe it is, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. And uh, so I'm going to... Get this down her in a minute because she's bloody craving it and she won't be best happy when she woke up. So I'm going to get this down her and then uh, I won't be surprised she actually went back to sleep because she's barely napped today, have you, you cheeky monkey? So she is still feeling quite tired so uh, she might end up falling back asleep after this but we'll see how she actually goes for the rest of the evening. Right guys, as per usual I need to actually outro this vlog because uh, I didn't actually outro it anything last night. I was... Um, I believe in the last clip, Evie had woken up and she was eating some porridge. And I said that she was due to actually probably go to sleep not long after that. And turns out, she actually did. She fell asleep probably like half an hour after that. So uh, she went to sleep kind of early last night. And I ended up just sitting and watching YouTube for a little bit. Because I did have plans on playing Batman, which obviously I, I got earlier in, well, in the day before that. And edit, downloaded and everything like that, and I just sat in my chair and just zoned out watching YouTube. And I think I ended up putting a live stream on, like like a like a full upload of a, a live stream, and it was like a two hour thing. And I just watched it, and we're we're just kind of thinking, oh, I'll play I'll play Batman when this ends. And I was just sat there for ages and ages and ages, not realizing how long it actually was. And I sat there for the whole two hours and watched the entire thing, and we're like. Oh god, I didn't even realise. Then I looked at the time and it was like, I think it was gone 11 o'clock and everything. At this point, obviously, Kim had gone to bed and everything like that. 
Um, so I'd, at that point, I would just be on tired and just thought, well, I might as well just go to bed. So there were no else to really film or anything last night. So I do apologise that it did end kind of abruptly out of nowhere. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy today's vlog. If you did, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below what you think of my new haircut and everything like that. And because uh, I actually really like it, so I also want to see, want to know your guys' opinion as well. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's vlog at 6 p.m. And peace.